Hi guys, it's Victoria and welcome back to Femhead. Sorry about the weird darker lighting. Um, I'm in my basement and it's a basement so it's dark and cold. But today I wanna share with you my revamped Google Calendar. When I tell you I have done every type of planner, schedule, I mean probably not every type, but I was big into the bullet journal back in the day paper planners, um, day planners, weekly planners, block systems, time blocking. Like I have tried everything. Um, I love trying new planner schedule systems, but recently I felt like my brain was in 10 different places with all the different planner calendar to do list, like all the different places my, I needed to look to figure out what I was doing in a day, um, that I decided that I was going to make Google calendar my like brain hub if that makes sense having different calendars and schedules and to-do lists just took more time and energy i would forget things all the time and it just like it took too much from me to accomplish a task and so i was like it's not working let's try something new i'm really good at saying that <laughs> i have always used google calendar um and this is where i would put like appointments and there was a time where i tried time blocking in my google calendar but then i never really utilized it so i've tried this in the past and it just did not work i really liked writing stuff out and i still like physically writing stuff out but it just does not work for me right now in my life the trick of google calendars i have learned is my calendars um, and you'll see them over in your left and so this is where and how you can color code things. Um, and so literally what you do is you go to settings. Dum -bun -dum -bun. Add calendar. So create new calendar. You sports. I don't have sports in my life, um, but blah, 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 create calendar. And then this is where you can put in your color, your color coding. Um, and you just add custom color and you can pick it, blah, blah, blah. I had already created a couple different calendars, but my current, like I look at these as, they're called cal calendars, but they should be called like categories. So the ones I have currently, and I think these are in alphabetical right now, um, activities, and I'll just give you a quick synopsis of what they are. So activity, and that is like, something fun to do with the boys. So we have a Des Moines parent calendar that I look at for ideas of things to take the boys to or things to do with them. And if I come up with something like fall candy crawl, um, I put that in and that's an activity and that's lime green. I don't know why I choose the lime green, but that's really bright so I can see it. <laughs> the next one is appointments. That's pretty self-explanatory. Birthdays on a repeat, so reoccurring. So content is kind of like my filming editing schedule during the boys nap. So I have my, I, don't, I can't think of what it's called today, but like bulk content creation. Film four videos at once. You edit four videos at once. You like do the notes for, it's not like, okay, think of a video, do the notes, film the video. No, you're doing like four videos at a time. That's on my calendar. So Monday is content notes. Tuesday, Wednesday is film content. Thursday is edit. Friday is schedule content. And then I also have on here like post to Instagram, post to TikTok, um, Instagram story idea is like, in like the best case scenario, I'd be posting Instagram stories every day. I'd be posting to TikTok, posting to my Instagram feed. I'm not there yet and I'm not getting down myself because we're working up to it, okay? The next one on the list is my cycle. Up here at the top, you can see that I have my, what phase I'm in, currently in my luteal phase. This is very helpful when you are looking ahead at the week like you know Monday morning or Sunday night when you're like oh yeah what do I have going on you can look and be like oh yeah okay I'm starting my period let me make sure I have enough tampons or maybe don't schedule drinks with the friends or whatever on day one of my period or like maybe I shouldn't run a marathon on the first day of my period sort of thing um, I also put in recently the full moon and the new moon because I just think that I like I like knowing when that is because you look outside and you see it but also like do you bleed with the new moon or do, do you bleed with the full moon? Like that stuff fascinates me. So I have that on there. Events. Michael works in the event industry. And so he's constantly doing events like that is his job. And so it's good to know, oh, this weekend is Elevate. So I can put that on there so I can know 
when Michael is going to be out of town, busy, whatever. Um, going along with that one, I also have a tab, a category, calendar, whatever, called Michael's Busy. I don't have an example, but if he goes on like a guy's trip, hang out with friends or golfing or whatever, like I can put that, I'd be like, okay, yeah, Michael's gonna be golfing Saturday morning. And so I can put that on there and I can see, oh, okay, I'm gonna have the boys Saturday morning because Michael's busy. And so I can plan accordingly, like what we're gonna eat, um, easy meals, like if he's gonna be out of town, that sort of stuff. Routine is this like dark, darker tan stuff. And this is like the time blocking. And I do like the time blocking because you pretty much kind of do the same stuff every single day when it comes to this sort of stuff. Like I scheduled in my morning routine, but if you click into here, I've put on here the things that I want to do in my morning routine. Morning pages, brain dump, meditate, work block. And I work block, I mean like get work done. I scheduled in the exercise because the longest time, like I've been trying to incorporate exercise just for like mental health and physical health. I just never had a good time to like fit it in. And so I figured out that 7 a.m. is a good time to do it. After the boys nap, so two to four, 30 is afternoon fun and errands. So this is where I'll try to go do something fun with the boys. And if I have any errands to run, like this is usually when I do it. 4.30, 7 p.m. dinner and boys bedtime. So I know that one's pretty busy. Don't really schedule stuff during that. And then I have my free time and I have little emojis of what I want to do. And I, you know, tidy up, read, brain up, meditate. Emojis make everything more fun. And then I can look and be like, oh yeah, journal meditate work moving on school theo's school schedule is pretty simple he goes to preschool four more months a week and so i can just see that chunk and this is when I, I have put my like big cleaning task of the day i usually try to do like something around the house but then also like this is a good time to like do something on my laptop lincoln's pretty content on his own and so i'll just like take my laptop to whichever room or outside that he's playing with not always but it's a new chunk of time that I'm trying to take advantage of. Social is one I recently added in because I just like, like when you're hanging out with friends, I didn't have a good place to put that. And so I put it as like appointment or event and that's not right. So I added a new category, social. Um, and so like the neighborhood blog party, social event. Tasks is the next one. This one is the game changer. This is my to-do list. Literally, if you can see right here, I have film content, but also I have the videos film this film this and i have them as tasks that way i can go in here mark complete and then i have travel like if we're traveling somewhere um if someone's traveling to visit us or going to be in town i'll put it under that one and that i usually do as like an all-day event the categories in my like calendar on the side like this is this is the meat of the revamp um and you just kind of have to figure out what your categories are and i swear to you it has been the best. The easiest place when you're filling out your calendar is to start with your schedule, like the hard things, like work schedule, school schedule, like the things that are not gonna change. You know when you're gonna get ready and have breakfast so you can be to a certain place on time. Like start filling it in with the things that are like have to happen at a certain time. And then you can start with your routine of like, okay, what are the things, what are the daily habits that I wanna add in? Do I wanna read? Do I wanna meditate, exercise? Start penciling those in. I would say start with the things that you want to add in and end with the the to-dos, the cleaning, like that sort of stuff. And as you are creating events on your calendar, make sure you go in here and that you set them to repeat. So I have all my things are, you know, morning routine is set weekly on weekdays. Preschool is set Monday through Thursday, repeating, blah, blah, blah. And you can, so you can repeat it forever. You can repeat it to a custom date. And that way it's kind of like once you create your calendar, the really the only things that I'm adding in after this point is the purple tasks, appointments, activities, the meat of it is already there. For the like to do's or tasks that I don't, have like a time for yet over here on the sideboard you have google tasks and so you can you know this one shows my task shows all of the tasks that you have on your calendar but then you can also create lists so i have work tasks and i have you know personal tasks oh amazon returns done as much as i can i try to put it on my calendar but if i have like a random one i will put it over here and like usually personal or work i try to split it up between those um but that's helpful. So it's not like, oh, where did I put that random scrap of paper that I put my to-do list on? Like it is literally all within this like interface right here. But obviously all of this is like, it's not set in stone. It's not an in ink. It, 
you know, if my cycle changes slightly, I can edit that. If anything changes, I can like edit it and tweak my calendar to fit what works best for me. But this, like, I've been doing this for a few weeks now and it has been just the best. Like I was feeling overwhelmed by like cleaning when I wanted to do the, the self care habits that were important for my mental health and like being able to put tasks at a specific time, like, okay, I'm going to film content. I want to really hunker down and try to film four videos, which I've done, but I have on here like boom, boom, boom. And I can see it and I can check it off and I can have that satisfaction. I have the reoccurring cleaning tasks. And so it's like, oh, that's right. Today, while Theo was at preschool, I was gonna clean the bathrooms. Today it was actually mop and laundry. I haven't done that yet, but even if I don't do it, you can just pull and drag it wherever you want. It's nothing is set in stone and I love that. I hope this was helpful. I hope, like, I love these videos. I'm always inspired by these videos and so hopefully me showing you how I've revamped this, made this my brain hub between Google Calendar and Google Tasks over here. It has been great to have my brain in one place. And for some people that is a physical planner and like calendar, um, for some people it is the count, like the big family calendar they hang up on their wall in their kitchen. For me, it is this, that way, I can share certain events or certain appointments or whatever with Michael or whoever it needs to be. Mwah! I love it. I'm so happy with where this is at and the things it has allowed me to do and the things it has allowed me to let go of. So I Google Calendar, you guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.